the seasons. Um, the way to look at this, we'll deal with just the northern hemisphere on these. We're kind of biased towards the northern hemisphere. Um, here's the equator. And we see up here our pole is tilted towards the sun at position B. If it's leaning towards the sun, it's like you lean in towards a fire, a campfire, you're going to heat up a little bit more. And if you lean away from a fire, you're going to cool down. So right here in position B, this would be summertime in the northern hemisphere where we're leaning in towards the sun, the summer solstice. Um, here in position D where the North Pole is tilted away from the sun, this is going to be winter time. Notice that the southern hemispheres are just the opposite. Um, here where we have the northern pole tilted towards the sun, the south pole is tilted away from it, it's kicked back and away. So where we have summertime here in the northern hemisphere, it's actually wintertime here in the southern hemisphere. They're always the opposite. Here in the, the, the position D, where we have the winter solstice on June 21st, where the, the north pole is leaning away from the sun, tilted away. We see the south pole is actually tilted towards the sun here. So we have the summer solstice here. They're always the opposite. And so if I know we're going to deal with the northern hemisphere here. We have the summer here in the north tilted towards the sun. Winter here is at position D tilted away from the sun. And we just go counterclockwise. Everything is counterclockwise. So if this is summer, as this way is counterclockwise going around like this, the opposite way a clock moves. As we go from summer towards winter time, well, the season that falls between summer and winter is going to be fall. So this would be my fall, or they call that the autumn equinox. Autumn's another name for fall. And then we go through the winter solstice in uh, June 21st. And then as we go from winter back over here to summer, as we move through position A, winter going into summer, well, that would be the spring solstice. Um, they sometimes call that the vernal equinox. That's just another name for it. So we have the summer. Here at B, the fall or autumn here at C, the winter at D, and then the vernal or the spring equinox here at position A.